Hey guys, it's Naomi here, and today I'm with Cian, and we are baking, so, and we were just doing some stuff, and I decided I would share with you five baking tips. So, first tip, it's a, it's a substitute, which we actually just found out, and I'm holding this camera upside down, but it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um... Okay, so a substitute for powdered sugar, because we needed powdered sugar and we had to look it up, so. You can use one cup of granulated sugar to a teaspoon of cornstarch and or flour. That's right. And or flour. Flour. <laughs> We're using um, that in flour, so. And then blend that in the blender on grind for a while. And Okay, tip number two. If you have to um, sift something, we have small sifts. Well, she has a bigger one than me, so we have to sift it to make it evenly. Um, what's it called? Um, ah, you know what I mean. Smooth. Yeah. Um, just take a sifter, um, fill it with your stuff. This is the stuff, by the way. And tap it on the edge of your bowl, and it makes it sift a lot faster rather than just shaking it over. Yeah. So just do that. Okay, and tip number three. I mean, tip number three. Hey guys, I got another tip for you. Uh, this is the third tip? Yeah, third tip. Yeah. So if you ever need just the egg whites, we have a mini strainer here. Eh, mini strainer. And an egg. And we need to put the egg whites, so just crack the egg. Oh, okay, and crack it into the strainer. And the yolks will slow. It'll take time. This is a small strainer, so it'll take time. But if you have a regular one, it'll work better. So the egg whites will go right there. So should we just, like, shake it a little bit? Go ahead and shake it. Okay, guys, we were messing with an egg, and I started to peel off the shell. And it's not boiled or anything, but look, that's the skin of the egg. It's not even boiled. That's oh. just the skin of it. <sighs> okay, guys. I'm not sure if I flipped the camera upside down or something before, but I think I did. Okay. Oh, great. It fell in. Um, so, my next tip, this is tip number four. If you're putting cake batter into a cupcake liner, which is what we are doing right now, use, instead of just pouring it in or using a really big spoon, use a small tablespoon measurer. Yeah, it's really messy because it fell into the bowl. Yeah. Use a tablespoon measurer and put that into the cupcake tray. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, so for example, we've already done all of these, so we're just going through it with the second tablespoon. It only takes two tablespoons for a whole cupcake tray, so for each, I mean two tablespoons for each cupcake. I got the last one. Cupcake tray. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay, and tip number four. I mean tip number five. Tip number five is... Okay, so I'm back. Fifth tip, if you ever don't have a sift or a sieve as some people call it you can use a strainer and a whisk um okay i'll show you what to do now okay so you would have to use a wire whisk and but my wire whisk is kind of with the cake batter now so i'm gonna use this is a rubber one and you shouldn't use this otherwise the powder will stick to it so okay so if you're ever using a strainer this is a strainer it's just a small one you don't have a sift do this Oops, sorry, Sian. Okay. Like, if it's better with the bigger one. You you get the idea. And she Just... also has egg whites inside the... Oh, jeez, I did not realize that. And just whisk it together and whisk it in the sift, in the strainer like this. Okay, that's that's enough. I already sifted that, so it's, it's okay. So those were the five baking tips. And so that's the end of this video, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have a god sister or god brother. So, <laughs> or family in so general. So either we or I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.